Bayi. Now welcome to this channel where we'll be giving our Ubonga updates on what the happen for Biafran territory and how the Islamic State the intact begin. Information with the rituals from my table now say the zoo have started to import foreign mercenaries. I won't be not listening to Prime Minister to give us an update. The war is on. The war is on against these criminals in Biafra land. And we will show you what we want to show you. What we can never show you is what we don't want to show you. The end result. Ejima was arrested for kidnapping. Ejima was the commander in the IPOB Nigeria Limited. He mentioned China Samuru. He mentioned Imapawafu. He mentioned all of them. Ask yourself, why haven't anybody taken action? Why haven't those writing petition against Simon Ekpa taken action or write petition against them? Because they are the people government who Dema and this e-way they are using. Now, another person was also arrested, which confessed of killing Gulak. Gulak was killed in Imo State. You can imagine a very high profile person from Northern Nigeria came to Southeast. He was assassinated. The entire Northern Nigeria, entire Northern Nigeria, they swept this thing under the carpet because to them, fighting Biafra is more lucrative, more important than fighting those who killed their own brother in the, in the East. A very high profile politician was killed, murdered like a chicken. And the person who ordered the killing is Hope Zodima, using IPOB Nigeria, China Samoru, using this same Eze. It is this same Eze that recruited the killers of Gulak. Today, nobody know that Eze was arrested in Nigeria. Nobody, no Nigerian media. I am calling you the name of the Eze. I am saying the name of the community of this Eze, I am saying that this Eze is currently being detained in Abuja. Nobody hear about it. I am blowing this whistle so that those who were writing petition against Amanefa can ask questions. Since your petition, ask question: where is this Eze today? And why is he not making news in Nigerian media? Why? Because if they do, I will be vindicated. If they do, everything will be exposed. Why a whole Eze was arrested for kidnapping, taken to Abuja? Nobody hear about it. The same Eze killed Gulak. He was the one who Zodima contracted to hire these people that killed Gulak. The person that participated in killing Gulak arrested. He confessed, he narrated how he killed Gulak and that those people who hired him to kill Gulak were the IPOB Nigeria, China Samoru and group. Hope Zodima used them. Nigeria didn't react. Nigeria security, the, uh, the northerners whom their brother was killed in the southeast, nobody wanted to talk. Have you ever seen anything like that? Because the agreement is to use them to fight against Biafra and they have failed. But I just want to refresh the memory of the northern Nigeria. The Gulag the killers of Gulag has been captured, arrested, confessed. The killers are still, nobody have called them by their names. A whole Gulag was murdered in the Southeast. And nobody is talking about the killing of Gulag. Is it normal? It is not normal. But I want you to say that it is Samonekpa gang, Samonekpa boys. It is only when it is Samonepa boys or when they, you know, when they have, when we have no proof to prove that it was them, everybody will share something, Samonepa, Samonepa. And I'm asking you a question today. Why has it not been on the social media or in the Nigerian news that Iwe Eze or Owere Eberi has been arrested for kidnapping? He is a very right-hand man of hope, so the man. He is the hit man. He is the one calling the heat for who is to assassinate, who is to be killed, and who is not to be killed in Imo State. Today, he is in Abuja 
under detention, maximum security detention, and no news, no news in Nigeria carried it. Everything in the secret. But the people of this community know that their Eze is missing. Many people even know that he has been arrested for kidnapping, but it is not making the news. A lot of evidence is everywhere. But you know what they do? They will write rubbish. Samanekpa is killing military. Samanekpa is doing this. Samanekpa is doing that. I will continue to defend Biafra people. I will continue to defend Biafra land. And there is no amount of blackmail propaganda will stop it. My job and what I was born for is to make sure Biafra come. And Biafra is here. This year, December 2nd, Biafra Declaration of the Restoration of Biafra in Finland. That is, this is sacrosanct. And then after that, we will change gear. Now, we have been calling on people of Biafra to stay away from checkpoint. This calling and warning started since last year. You know, when we start to warn you, does not mean that it is going to start immediately. We come well planned, prepared. And once we start, there is no going back. We have been warning hawkers, people that are hawking in the street, do not hawk close to checkpoint, the kidnapper checkpoint. Don't hawk closer to the checkpoint. Because when it will happen, you will not know. And we don't, we don't want to harm any civilian. It is for you people, because of you, we are fighting this freedom. It is because of you, so that you will not be living in a country that you will be hawking and carrying something to sell in the street. That's why we are fighting. So you must not be at the wrong time, at the wrong place at the wrong time. Stay away, completely away from military checkpoint. So that you will be alive to see Biafra. Those who think that December is not going to come, December is here. I see those people who have been, you know, parading themselves as they are fighting for Biafra for many years. They say, let us see how Biafra will come. These are people who, whom, because of their preaching, many people believed them and died. They died. They died in Imo State. They died in Abia State. They died in Anambra. They died in Enugu. In numbers. Who will ever believe that in 2024, the same people who were telling you Biafra are dead are now telling you Biafra can never come. The same people who three years ago were shouting Biafra are dead. But what they don't know is that we never ever even believe they will be part of the Biafra at the end of the day. That's why we said we are going to be the end of their criminality in the Biafra movement. We made that proclamation, they didn't believe us. They know, but those who follow them doesn't believe because they, did, they don't see beyond their nose. But they know that those pronouncement is spiritual. Today, what is happening? And let me tell you, anybody that is joining to, re, to be recruited by them and they give you a gun in the name of fighting for Biafra, you know you are not fighting for Biafra. They only want to use you to fight those fighting for Biafra. You will go down. <laughs> you will go down. The only love you people have is that we have not remembered the internal issue. We haven't remembered. We don't have, we don't do, we are yet to remember internal issue. But that time is fast approaching. The distraction is getting too much. And we will start facing the internal enemies very soon. And by then, the same people will be shouting, they are killing each other. They are killing each other. But nobody is seeing what they are doing today. They are not going to dictate when we are going to fight internally. The Afra people will follow their template and there will be no distraction. We will remain focused and our eye will remain on the rising sun. So the topic this evening is those behind kidnapping and criminal activities in the Southeast that Mazin Bikanu was talking about in the court. You know, when he made the statement, oh, those of you uh, committing crime, I did not come to react because I know who he was talking to. And today, the evidences we have provided so far and what I am, the claim, not even claim, the exposition I'm making out of the Igwe, of the Eze, of Owere, every community, 
who is now languishing and cooling in Abuja should, you know, open your eyes. Why is the media not talking about it? All right. Yes, now we'll come back from that update. Anything about the zoo, not lie. Nothing the legit for that zoo. The newspaper house, the journalists, the brown envelope journalists, the cocky and the misleading news is over years, you don't be like that.